Foundry can be overwhelming. There's a lot to learn, a lot to remember, and oh god, what do these buttons do? Not only will you learn how to set up and use Foundry, but I'll also be teaching you how to run flawless Pathfinder 2e games. You're soon gonna get Foundry looking from this, to this. This video will show you how to install, how to host, and how to set up Foundry. We'll be running the beginner's box as our example adventure path. It's a very solid choice for our first adventure. If you found this video useful and want to see more, please like and subscribe. Let's get started. Part 1. How to buy Foundry and how to host it. The buying part should be pretty easy. Go to the Foundry VTT website and purchase it. You'll probably have to log in with a user account. I'm not gonna teach you how to make an account. You should have learned that when you were 13. Once you get your license and your email, make sure you keep it safe. Now, as far as hosting's concerned, I've tried a lot of them. And without getting into too much detail, the one that's worked for me the best is Molten Hosting. I wanna emphasize I'm not sponsored by Molten Hosting. I just think they're neat. I'm gonna show you how to set up Molten Hosting. You can go to the description for the link. Scroll down and find your pricing plan. Go ahead and set up your account. After you've set up your account, accept the terms of use, set up your payment option. Once you're paid and are set up, go to create new server at the top. Type in your server name, whatever you wish. Uh, this is gonna be what your players see. After which click on the create server button and it's gonna take a little while here. If you go to the top and check, it's gonna take five to 10 minutes so just sit tight a few moments later now once the server is set up you're gonna see this screen what you need to do is make sure you click on the magic url it's gonna launch you to your server now go ahead and copy the license you got in your email and paste it right here. Once you're done, just accept the license agreement. Lastly, it's going to ask for an administrator password, so just go to the previous page and copy it from there. Paste it in and bam, we've set up Foundry. Right, this pop-up. Yeah, sure, whatever. We've finally installed Foundry. <laughs> Onwards to part two. Part two, the initial setup. First, you need to go to the game systems tab if you're not there already and click on install system. Find the Pathfinder second edition system by typing it in chat and then hit the install button on the right. It'll take a few seconds to install. And there you go. That's your base system installed. You can technically survive with just the base system, but I'm gonna install a few quality of life modules to make things just a little bit easier. Go to the add on modules tab and click on install module. Now, here's the five modules I recommend you type and install. Dice so nice. PF2E workbench. Quick insert. Force client settings. Make sure you install the dependency as well. The Pathfinder Beginner Box, which you cannot install unless you purchase it from the Paizo website. Now go to the Paizo website, go to the search box, type in Beginner Box Foundry and it should show up in the first search result. Purchase the Beginner's Box. It's a little clunky of an interface, but you can do it. I believe in you. You probably also have to make an account. Assuming those two things are done, here's how to find the key. Go to the top right where it says my account, go to digital content, and you should see your beginner's box right there. Go ahead and copy the code. Now, go to the Foundry website, go to the top right where it says your account, click on purchase content and put your key right there. And then click on activate. Cool, now we can install our beginner's box. Now that we have our modules installed, go to game worlds on the left and click on create world. The main thing we have to worry about is our world type and our game system everything else can be left as is for now and then click on create world and that was part two onwards to part three part three the first launch of the game world and initial world setup click on the play button in front of baby's first world it'll take a few seconds and now click on game master and join game session now you'll see a tutorial pop-up box and i want to warn you do not skip this if it's your first time using Foundry Citizen. I repeat, do not skip. Seriously, there's a lot of basic stuff you can learn from that tutorial, so don't skip it. Now, the first thing you need to do is go to the top right and click on the little cogwheel icon. Then go ahead and click on manage modules. Enable every single module if you can. Once your game's refreshed, this should pop up on the left, Pathfinder Beginner Box Menace Under Otari. Click on Menace Under Otari and this pop-up should show up. I like to customize my world details, so I select it and then I just click on Import Adventure. By the way, this is what customizing your game world does. It's so pretty. 
And once you set up the world, you'll see this journal entry pop up, which you probably want to read. Now, the next step is adding your players. So let's go to user management on the cogwheel on the right. Now, this is going to go ahead and pop up. Go ahead and add the players and rename them. You're probably fine to keep the user role as player. More on advanced permissions later. You can also assign a password for them. If you leave it blank, it'll still autofill as stars, but don't worry about that. It's still blank. And then you click on save and return, and that's your user setup. Now the last part of this initial world setup is pulling out and setting up our macros. For more information on macros, I've made a video about the essential macros you need for Pathfinder. So watch that one if you wanna see more. Now we're gonna use one of the new modules we've installed, which is Quick Insert. We're gonna type in Control plus Space to bring it out, and then just begin typing the macro name. You can pull them out quickly to your macro bar by just dragging and dropping it from the pop-up. You might be familiar with these macros if you've seen my other video, but there's a couple of new ones I'm gonna highlight. Treat Wounds and Battle Medicine by Simon provided macros, Effect Cover, from the base system. Don't forget to assign these macros to your players by going to the bottom left and clicking on the little folder icon. You can assign the macros by right clicking on them, clicking on configure ownership and giving everybody the observer permission. I do wanna mention there's probably more macros we'll be pulling out in later videos as well as more modules, so keep that in mind. There's one more thing that's pretty important and that's music in Foundry. Unless you're using Discord for audio, I would recommend you add a playlist for battle music since Menace Under Atari doesn't come with battle music. So go to the little musical note icon in the top right and then create a playlist. Uh, you can just X out of that box and then click on the plus sign there. Now click on this icon next to audio source and it's gonna make you select an audio source. I would create a subfolder under the user data main folder so that way your things are organized. For example, I'd make a beginner box subfolder right here and then after which I'd make a music subfolder inside the beginner box so you can organize your data correctly. Then choose your file. Uh, I would recommend an AUG file or an MP3 file that has a large battle mega mix that you've personally made from whatever sources you decide to use. It'll take a couple of seconds to upload, but once you do that, go ahead and select the file and then put a track name. And there you have it. Now you can play it. Music's muted due to copyright reasons. That was the initial Foundry setup. There's a lot left still, including settings, which I will highlight in the next video. Why didn't I do it now? Because you could technically grab and go right now. You could start playing with what I've taught you so far. Next video is the settings overview, which is gonna be a whole video in of it itself. And I might even add a couple more modules to that so we can add even more quality of life stuff to this game. Did you think I missed anything in this initial setup video? Leave a comment below and let me know and I'll add it to the next video. Thanks for watching, lunatics. See you next video.